Hey everybody, on this video I'm going to talk all about how you can get rid of your dark circles, those pesky dark circles under the eyes. I'll give you those solutions. My name is Dr. Anthony Yoon and I'm known as America's Holistic Plastic Surgeon. I help health conscious men and women look their best by teaching them a holistic approach to beauty. And today we're going to tackle those dreaded dark circles under the eyes. Now, it's not a real simple thing. There are so many people that have issues with dark circles, but there isn't one treatment for everybody. And the issue that we have, so many of us, is these dark circles don't look so good. Now, some of us, we may find that if it's a real sunny day, we look good, but if we're in darker light, maybe not so good. And the key to treating dark circles is you gotta look at the causes. So the dark circle treatment is really targeted towards what the cause of your dark circles are. And the first cause, and probably the most common, is puffiness. Puffiness that causes shadowing. So what do I mean by that? Well, basically, the eyelid has got fat right behind it, okay? So our eyeball is enclosed in a cone of bone that we call the orbit, or you may call the eye socket that eye socket is filled with fat. And right in front of that eye socket is your eyelid. In some people, that fat can protrude. And as it protrudes, it then causes the eyelids to look puffy. Well, puffiness isn't gonna necessarily cause dark circles, but the shadowing caused by the puffiness can. And so there are those people that have puffiness. I actually have some of it. It does run in families quite a bit. And what you may find if you've got puffiness, that causes shadowing, that can be a dark circle that changes. You may find that when you're in a bright sunny day and the sun, the, the light is bouncing off all the different surfaces, that your eyelids look pretty good. But then that evening, maybe you go to a party and the light's fairly dim and you cross a mirror and you look into it and go, oh my gosh, my puffiness is, or my dark circles are terrible. And that's because it's due to the shadowing from that puffiness. So how do you treat it? Well, you target it to the cause. A simple thing you can do at home is to take a simple jade roller. Uh, throw one of these in your freezer or your refrigerator. It gets nice and cold. And before you go out, you can roll your eyes. Okay, sometimes they come with a little small one like that. And you can roll your eyes and that can, the cold temperature can uh, reduce the puffiness. And by rolling over your eyes, you can also push out a bit of swelling. It's a similar thing, whereas the opposite, let's say if you have uh, a really salty meal and the next day you wake up and your eyes are puffy, well, it's because you have uh, gotten water that has become trapped in that, puff, in that fat, making it look more puffy. This is something that can help with that by basically pushing some of that extra fluid out. Now, it's a temporary effect, okay? So if anybody says, hey, use a jade roller or an obsidian roller, it's gonna make the puffiness go away permanently they're not telling you the truth. But this is a great thing that you can do at home to reduce the puffiness temporarily, especially if you've had a long day at work or, or maybe if uh, you've eaten once again a real salty meal. Well, what else can you do? Well, there are commercially available immediate skin tighteners, okay? This is one, I don't have uh, any ownership in this company, it's called Sudden Change. You can find this on Amazon, it's not very expensive, you can probably find it like $20. And there are a number of products like this and similar ones where basically you apply it on, uh, onto the skin under your eyes and it's kind of like shrink wrap, okay? And if, and if you've ever put Elmer's glue on your hand or on your skin and allowed it to dry, you know that feeling. So it leaves this tiny film over the skin and over the span of a few minutes, that film dries up and it basically contracts and you can get a visible reduction in the puffiness of your eyes. But once again, that is temporary. So if let's say you've got an event you wanna to go to, you wanna to go to a wedding or you've got a class reunion and you wanna reduce your puffy eyelids temporarily, these types of things quite often work pretty well. Okay, but what is the permanent solution? Well, unfortunately, the only permanent solution is surgery. And uh, one of the surgeries I do very commonly is called a scarless, scarless lower blepharoplasty. And what we do in that surgery is I make a little incision on the inside of the eyelid while you're asleep, and I remove the puffy fat from the eye socket, basically, from three little compartments of your eyelid. 
And by doing that, you can basically permanently depuff the eyelids. But that is surgery. The surgery does take about an hour and 15 minutes. There is some recovery time. The good thing is if you don't have extra skin or a lot of redundant extra skin, then we can do it with no visible scar at all. I do it that way in younger people, uh, in a lot of men, and a lot of women who are on the younger side. If you're a bit on the older side, you've got some extra skin, then sometimes we remove skin with it as well. So the first thing that causes dark circles is puffiness. And the puffiness uh, is something where we can treat it by using tighteners, like one of these things, or by surgery. All right, well, what's the second cause of dark circles under the eyes? The second cause is thinning skin. So how can thinning skin cause dark circles? Well, the skin of our lower eyelids, is that is the thinnest skin of our whole body. And in some people, it's literally a handful of cell layers thick. Now, when we're older, the skin is thicker. It has more collagen in it. And, uh, and the eyelid looks more youthful, less wrinkled, and you don't have the dark circles. But as people get older, that skin can get thinner. And it can get to the point where it's so thin that it becomes even somewhat transparent. And when it becomes thin and transparent, you can start seeing the blood vessels underneath, and that can cause you to have dark circles under the eyes. Well, this is not something that you can treat with surgery, okay? The best solution for thinning of the skin is to try to thicken it. So how do you thicken it? Well, one option is you can use retinol creams. So if you've watched any of my videos, you know that the vast majority of plastic surgeons and dermatologists are fans of retinol. Uh, retinol basically is a derivative of vitamin A, and studies show that the prescription strength version of retinol, called tretinoin, can actually thicken the dermis, or the deeper layer of the skin. So by using a retinol eye cream, you can theoretically, gradually help to thicken that skin once again. And as the skin gets thicker, it can become less transparent and you can reduce the, the dark circles under the eyes because you're not seeing those blood vessels and stuff anymore. This is a very gradual process. This isn't something where you get a retinol cream and two weeks later the dark circles are gone. This is something that takes many, many months um, and the results are usually you know, fairly subtle. Now, there are a lot of skincare companies that have their own retinol eye creams. Uh, I have my own, my Yoon Beauty line. This is called my retinol eye cream. That's the name of it. <laughs> uh, another one called ZO Skin Health has one called Hydrafirm. Uh, I only show these to you, not that you have to buy these products, but because these are what I have in my office. But there are a lot of skincare companies out there that have their own version of a retinol eye cream. And if you've got thinning of your skin under your eyes, uh, that's causing shadowing, creating dark circles, then that's what I would recommend would be a retinol eye cream. Another thing that might help, although there aren't any studies that necessarily prove it, is collagen. Okay, Collagen is a huge buzzword right now, and there are a lot of people who are taking collagen supplements. And there are a few studies that appear to show that taking a collagen supplement by mouth can actually help to thicken the collagen of your skin. There are some people who don't agree with me, but that's what the studies show, and that's what so many patients I'm hearing from are telling me as well. But the problem is, is you can't necessarily take collagen orally and, and, and say, hey, just because I'm taking it orally, it's gonna make the skin of my eyelids thicker. Once again, it's theoretical. There aren't any studies that I know that, that uh, prove that, but it might help. And if, as you are getting older, you're finding that your skin is getting thinner, it's getting more prone to um, even tearing uh, and fine lines and crepey skin, then yeah, I would try taking a collagen supplement. It's not gonna hurt and it could definitely help. Okay, so we've covered the first two. We've covered puffiness causing shadowing. We've covered uh, thinning of the skin, which uh, causes the skin to be transparent. The third cause of dark circles under the eyes is pigmentation. So pigmentation is something that occurs typically in people who have darker skin. And it's not uncommon in those with darker skin where they can get pigment deposition under their eyes. And that can cause dark circles. Well, in that case, surgery isn't gonna help with it. Um, retinol creams may improve it a little bit because retinol is a very mild skin lightener. Uh, but you really wanna go after more topical brightening creams. Once again, there are a lot of them out there. Uh, we have one uh, called our Yoon Beauty Brightening Cream. This isn't though specifically for the eyelids, it's really for the whole face. There are some eyelid creams out there that are specifically for 
brightening the skin and for lightening that pigment um, with uh, ingredients like niacinamide. Um, and so take a peek at those. But you know, if you've got lighter skin, if you're Caucasian, pigment's probably not a big issue for you. You're probably dealing with more of one of the two other issues. However, if you have darker skin, then this could definitely be an issue and using a, uh, brightening, uh, a lightening cream or a brightening cream can potentially help. So these are the three options uh, for treating dark circles under the eyes. I'd encourage you, if you wanna learn more, check out this new playlist I put together. And this is Skin Care, What You Need to Know. And these are five videos that will give you everything you need to know about skincare coming right up. Press the button that you're gonna see coming right here.